Phoenix, Arizona. Round nine of the chase, and Jimmy Johnson wins again. Four in a row. This guy is incredible. I think he surprises even himself. He caught his, he, he said his victory in tonight's Checker 500 was, was shocking. He, he couldn't believe it, and I couldn't believe it either. I was watching it. Jimmy didn't have the best car. Matt Kenseth and Martin Truex Jr. had better cars. Jimmy was the third-place car at best. He charged down the stretch. Pit stop sequences were in his favor, and he won going away. Jeff Gordon dejected. Jeff Gordon, 29 top 10s, his best season ever. He's averaging a fifth-place finish in the championship chase. Great average numbers, and yet he's 86 points down going to the finale in Homestead this week. 86 points down. He says it's all over. It's not all over, of course. If Jeff were to win at Homestead and lead, all, and lead the most laps, and Jimmy didn't lead a lap and finished 19th or worse, Jeff Gordon would win the championship. But Jeff has never won at Miami. And there were 20 cars on the lead lap. So Jimmy has to be careful too. But the numbers tonight, the numbers are simply incredible. Jimmy Johnson, 33 wins. He's 32 years old. Some people are saying that he's, it, he's the next Jeff Gordon. He's become Jeff Gordon. And I've got to admit that he is really looking strong right now. Now, the numbers over their careers, the first six race, the first six years, the two were on the series. On the series, Jeff Gordon has better numbers. 42 wins his first six years. Jimmy Johnson, 33 wins his first six years. And, of course, Jeff got to go up against uh, Dale Earnhardt, too. Ten wins this season for Jimmy Johnson. Rick Hendrick has been fantastic as a car owner. He has 18 wins in 35 races. That's 50%. One car owner, 50%. That's not parity, if you ask me. Rick Hendrick's teams have won eight of the 16 Car of Tomorrow races. This was a Car of Tomorrow race. It wasn't really that good a race. There was a lot of people, there were a lot of people crashing because the cars are just awkward to drive. There's a lot of fallout from the Atlanta test for the Car of Tomorrow at higher speeds. The Car of Tomorrow needs a lot of work. Goodyear needs to work on the tires for the Car of Tomorrow. There's a problem right there with the whole Car of Tomorrow operation. But NASCAR is determined to go ahead and run the Car of Tomorrow, so that's what they've got. Jeff Gordon, 29 top 10s, a 5 0 average in the chase. He was dejected. He was demoralized. It was un, it was unbelievable how he how he could have such a good year. He had 400 points on Jimmy Johnson going into the chase, and then of course the, under the chase rules wipes it all out, and everybody starts the last 10 races virtually zero, all zero back together. If this were a normal year, under the regular rules that were good enough for Dale Earnhardt Jr. for about 25 years. Jeff Gordon would have a 300-point lead right now and be going away toward his fifth championship. He seems very dejected that he's not doing that. It was another bad day for Dale Jr. Finished last. Crashed. Carl Edwards on the pole. Blew an engine after 85 laps. Out of the way. Jacques Villeneuve crashed. But Patrick Carpentier, he finished uh, 33rd and did a pretty good job. Finished only two laps down, ran the whole race, did a good job there. Casey Kane crashed, and it's the end of a good, se a bad season for him. He's glad, like many of these people, just to get out of here, have only seven days left, and then we can go to Miami and, and wipe the state clean and start all over again. One of the stories in the chase, besides Jimmy Johnson's incredible numbers and Jeff Gordon's incredible numbers, the complete collapse of just about everybody else in the chase. Clint Boyer had another good night, though. I mean, he wasn't that bad. He finished 11th right behind Gordon, and his numbers would have been good enough last year to put him right there in the championship chase. But everybody else in the chase has just fallen apart. Uh, I don't understand it. I'm not sure exactly what was going on. But that's the story from Phoenix International Raceway, Sunday night, November 11th, 2007. And now we go on to Homestead for the finale, and I guess we're going to crown Jimmy Johnson the NASCAR Next Hell Cup champion. We'll see. Mike Muller for the Winston-Salem Journal and JournalNow.com.